Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to another live stream. Today we're testing out a little bit of the course play mod, and the course play mod, course play, and uh, the new, I guess we call it steering guidance, or guidance steering mod. I'm gonna mess around with that. Let me know what the music levels are, how they are, if they're too loud, too quiet, let me know, and we shall go from there. And, uh, yeah. All right, there we go. Let's bring that back up. Yeah, right up, right up, right up. All right. So we just bought this random field here. I'm just messing around with, uh, with this. Like I said, let me know what the uh, let me know if this music is too loud or not. Coming out law. How's it going, sir? We have our John Deere. It's okay. Too loud? Too quiet? Got our A370 RT. As you can see, let's go ahead and bring up course play and give this a little whirl here. Uh, it's course play beta and GPS. Course play hasn't changed very much, but GPS definitely has. Saving content already. Let's turn this uh, sound down just a wee bit in game. Wild Blaze, what's up? We're gonna mess around with the GPS mod, like I was saying here. So let's go ahead and raise that up. We're gonna set AB line for working ground. Yeah, they've only set AB lines right now. Uh, you can't really do anything else with it at the moment get lined up here. Now you can have it set up so it snaps to the grid or not. Um, move it on for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and start my rate point here. And we'll go just along the side here. I've already done this. I don't need to do it quite again. Set another AB line here. And this should be the next side right here. So this will be my outline of the field, basically. It's a little bit different than the GPS mod in previous versions. And this should be my B mod B line right here. Let's back it up just a smidgen. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, we have our AB line now. It doesn't show it, which is kind of kind of a makes me a little sad. That gives you a good idea. Let's go with this one here. So we're gonna go on this line here, enable our guidance. What will happen here is uh, with the guidance set up this way, it'll automatically it just stops at the end of the field right now with the cruise control on it at uh, at full, you know, cruise control set to three, just on basically. So there you go. That's that done. So you can take a look at, at the uh, information here. You so see you have two screens. You have enable guidance steering on or off. You can do that in this or you can do it with key binds. I just set it up with key binds. Show lines, we can turn that off now. And then now it's not going to show the lines anymore. Although I do like the uh, I do like the lines. And you can auto width it or decrease it. And then you have uh, they only have one strategy at the moment, but I suspect they'll add other strategies. Now, the way this is set up is um, much more in line with the way it is in real life rather than the old GPS mod. Um, so it's changed a lot since uh, since last time, basically. So this one, you actually have to uh, enable it on vehicles. So let's say I go to buy a new tractor. Let's say I'm going to buy... Uh, Eight-hour series. So now you get this global positioning system. You have to buy that in order to even have GPS. Now the funny thing is, on uh, I can't zoom up there. Not gonna let me rotate the camera the way I want to. This little guy right up here, that's the Starfire receiver for uh, John Deere. So tractors already have that. So as you can see, this guy right here already has it. So it's kind of just neat that it has that option as well. So there we go. Let's go ahead and lift it up. So right now. Um, the GPS mod only has uh, take our guidance off. It only has it set up for um, so it doesn't automatically make the turns for you because it is in beta. So it's just set up for guiding guiding your lines basically. So you can't automatically turn quite yet. That's something they'll probably add in the future, I imagine, though. But for the time being, 
you can only just go in a straight line. It doesn't automatically turn or anything like that. Like in real life, you could have it set up so it would um, follow the curve uh, of the field as well. So I'd be curious to see that. Walter, there you go. I set up an AB line not too long ago, so you can see what it's like. And of course, once you get out of it, it doesn't work. Is that a server? No, it's just my random single player game. And that's interesting, the guidance doesn't stop when you get out of it. Well, that's kind of curious. You can just hop out, hop back in. Now, this particular is a beta for both course play and for um, GPS mods, so either way, it's a beta, so. Which is kind of interesting. If this was a server, I'd be on Country Gaming's field, but now this is just a single player game at the moment. I have like three mods I have government subsidy mod, course play mod, and I have the GPS mod. That's it right now. So, so here's the uh, so I have my cruise control on right now. What's going to happen? It's going to hit the end of the field there and just stop. So it recognizes it's the edge of the field, but it hasn't stopped. Um, it just stops automatically right now. And of course, you can disengage your. Uh, Disengage your uh, guidance if you turn it off or turn the steering wheel basically. So there you go, that's that. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So guidance off, show lines off. So that's that. So let's go ahead and shift this out. Uh, calculate the field edge width. Ooh, let's see, hopefully it doesn't bust up. Okay, let's have to do it. Over 13. Oh, I guess that's probably need to do that. This is 13 working width. Automatic attack, 8 meters. Starting location. No, they haven't changed much actually. What's going on there? Uh, current vehicle position. Like it's kind of they're like fighting each other. Go for starting direction. We'll make that automatic as well. This mm -hmm. point, of course, but does not have overloader mode yet. It's uh, just an update. Why is it sinking into the ground? Like that? Starting direction automatic. Return to first point. Sure, why not? Headland. Three headlands, bypass items, no multiple tools, no. Okay, let's turn off uh, the lines. I don't know. Generate the course, it may blow up, we're gonna find out. Advanced course generator settings. Wow, that's new. Skip row, so you can set up for that. That's gonna be multiple tools, no. Field center, experimental, no. Headland corner, smooth, round, or turn. We'll go first. Smooth, headland passive, clockwise. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So there you go, that's what the field looks like now. That's kind of a cool little feature, actually. Well, of course, generation seems to be pretty solid so far. Let's back this up here a little bit. AI driver, drive course. Uh, we want to go to the first waypoint here. Oh, I see what it's doing. It seems to be working so far. It's going to do the headland. Should have had a headland down at the end, but that seems to be working. I don't know why it's like colliding with the ground there. That's bizarre. I'm surprised. Deleting objects, AI collision triggered before all triggers are removed. Okay. Hmm. I'm surprised. Stop working surprising well for a beta, so far at least. It's an open beta, I guess, so you can try it out if you want to, see what it's like for yourself. Not too bad, not too bad. Answer your question, no, it's on the server. CP, temporary course. Oh, that's doing pretty good, protecting the edges there. Still missed a little tiny bit in the corner there, but that's not so bad. Better well, actually. Like its tank like movements is pretty good so far. Just a little bit in the corner there. It's 
to be expected. I don't think that there's any options for... That's one nice thing about course play, you just let it go. Do its thing. Whether or not it's gonna work, I don't know, but we'll see. There you go. Hmm, that's pretty sweet. Can you say hi to my munchkins? They are for they don't believe that you're live. Well, hello munchkins. How about that? <laughs> that's all I got. Alright, that's kinda neat. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we're cultivating that field up. I don't think this one's any bigger. 450. Well, actually, that is bigger. That's hilarious. We're twins. Twins all around. Missions. Trail boards. Doesn't really matter. Little position systems. Yes. 450 horsepower. Let's buy that. Yes. You want to purchase it? No, you want to purchase it? Let's see what else we got here. Can you see Hello, Tim. How are you doing today? Let's go ahead and so we have that. Let's go check out here. Actually tried that one out. 420 horsepower. Well, we're just just pretty close to that. So that's 50 meters, and this is 14.4. So for 0.6 meters more, you, you get less capacity, but it's less horsepower as well. Doing the same things. Hmm. Try that one out. Why? Yes. You could, you could just choose how many multiples you can buy. I discovered though is if I put uh, tracking on, uh, what will happen is that uh, I'll be looking at the screen. I'll look like this over a lot, and you'll it just gets makes makes people nauseous usually. Oh, thank you, Electro Trino. Four plus seven miles miles back to you. <laughs> Use the placeable seed and fertilize the fill point. I don't have it. I didn't enable it just because I'm messing around with course play. Hey, Spud, how's it going, sir? Let's go ahead. 
ahead and Ooh, it should close up. Actually, that's cool. And I should have got a front weight here. Grab one of those real quick. Single player? Yeah, I just mess around single player. Of course, playing GPS. Uh, although GPS is uh, apparently it can work on multiplayer, but it's still in beta. Ooh, now the interesting will be is if I use the same AB line as uh, I used before. Happen is, I'm not sure if it's gonna work properly or not. I don't know if the field width changes or not. The work tool width, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, well, they actually had a previous version of it that was new run servers. I never did personally, but it was doable. So let's go ahead and bring up our guidance here. We're gonna use this track right here. Here, auto width, 9.9 .9 meters. I think it's a bit bigger than that, isn't it? How big is the cedar? Maybe it's only 9.9. No, it's 14.4. Oh, there it goes. 14.2? Yeah, we go with that. Show lines. Now, we have a set of show lines on, snap terrain angle on. Okay. Load or create. Uh, I load a track. Current track, yeah, I have a track right now. Hmm. How well does the new GPS work for unloading combines? Oh, I haven't tried yet, really. Not perfect, I don't think. Line strategy, yeah, that's fine. That's my current track. So why does it say I don't have a track? Create a low track name. Hmm. I wonder why it's not working, the, uh, not working the way I want it to. close to the other uh, implement there. Should be able to get past it, I suspect. Just barely. There we go. Doesn't look like I'm planting anything though, it's kind of funny. But I definitely am. Saving content. Uh, definitely planting wheat. Didn't realize I was planting. Didn't even register. I was like, oh, whatever. start planting. <laughs> uh, front loading combines, Kyle, I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried that uh, thus far. So far, just been creating AB lines and messing around. There we 
go. Got my lines now. Let's go ahead and lift that up. Stop seeding the, uh, the ground there. Get lined up here. There we go. You can see that I'm lined up now because that little line is green. Now we're ready to go here. We actually have to wait for our, uh, our little friend here. Once he makes a turn there. I'm surprised how well they're working together, to be honest with you. This needs plowing. No, I didn't even notice that. Whoops. Turning eight radius should be a bit bigger than that. How long does it think it is? Eight meters? Is it eight meters? I think it was bigger than that. Yeah, so far it's working well, actually. Of course, play is. Let's have a look over here and get this GPS rolling here. So as you can see, I really like how it just, it just maintains the fact that it's still on. How was work today? I did not have to work today, thankfully. So I spent some time this morning with the wife. She's going off to Toronto. So I have I'm home alone tonight, so I'm making a liver and onions, <laughs> which she doesn't like, so. That's the reason why I thought I'd make that. I like it, she doesn't sell. So. 18 kilometers an hour is what we can rock at? That's not too bad at all. I do like this new GPS though. Although I'm not sure, so I bring this up. So we save the track. Don't know why it doesn't really. Hmm. Create track. Okay, that's what you have to do. And then save it. Select the current track to use. So I have my GPS set up. So this is what happens when you're just using the cruise control. Automatic just stops at the edge of the field. So if you remember, remember in previous GPS, uh, what will happen is no thanks on the liver <laughs> It's not for everybody, that's for sure. Uh, so in the old GPS, it would beep at you saying uh, how um, it would beep at you saying you know you're at the edge of the field or coming to the edge of the field. Now this doesn't have it stops as if you're going to make headlands, uh, but in this scenario, I don't need to worry about it so much right now. Just need to wait for it. I'm able to go faster than our machine right now. Sounds good. How was the auto show last weekend? The Montreal auto show was fantastic. Really cool. Uh, I really liked it. We got to see Bugatti Chiron, which is amazing. Uh, it was a white uh, Bugatti Chiron with like chrome on it, white interior. Really, really nice looking car. Like they said uh, on the billboard, I believe it said it was a $5 million car, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. How big was this one? 400 horsepower. Of course, you can always hire a worker for field work as well. The workers aren't too bad so far. My dad got me on the liver. It's not for everybody, yeah. I might uh, do that in some potatoes. I'm pretty sure we have potatoes laying around here. So, yeah, that's the AB line we just set. So I hope eventually we'll see some different line methods and different strategies. Right now it's just a straight strategy. Uh, it looks like he's going, obviously, it looks like the person, the author is creating something in the future with, uh, in regards to that. So, um, for the time being, it is just, uh, time being, it's just the way it is. Mad Dog, what's up? Should have got a bigger cultivator. I don't think I added anything else. I kept, basically, everything else in here is vanilla. Nothing else, nothing else is different. The only mods I added was the, uh, GPS mod, course play, and the um, government subsidy, everything. Otherwise, everything else is vanilla. One thing that's kind of funny is look at the John Deere header. There's no, uh, they don't have the uh, the wheels that, that fold out of it, unlike the case one right here, 45 foot draper. So you could theoretically use the draper head on the deer, but you run into the situation where you gotta. Uh... There we go. Let's get our guidance lined up, lined up here. Yeah, that turn is a little tight for that to... Get lined up a bit better here. There 
we go. That's better. Now the one thing that would be really neat is if it show if you had like a when you uh, put your guidance system in, it would actually have a screen here showing your guidance. But alas, you don't have that at all right now. You just have it set up. So uh, apparently, I'm locking all achievements right now. Uh, starting small, apparently. So I must be do the seeding, I guess. So that uh, that particular function fieldwork isn't like super amazing. The Elmer Heather trailer is great. I don't think I've got that one yet, I don't think. And of course, the uh, course play right here still does its old missing the end bits there. Just from where it's a uh, stop. It's kind of nice how it stops you at the end of the field so you can do headlights at the end. It's pretty sweet. Now, fieldwork mode's not that particular mode like that. It's not super impressive. Let's go ahead and make a turn here. I don't think you can skip a lane quite yet. Let's go ahead and grab a combine. Oh, four drivers are combine. John Deere S790. Oh, interesting. Go position systems. Yes, you can put it on that if you want to. Go for crawler tracks. Sure, bye. And let's go to headers. See, so yeah, this 45 foot draper head right here. No wheels. So that means you need a header trailer as well. Just joined, so I'm going to ask something. What do you do with the mod based on the short term use it? Um, so far, I like, I really like the new G GPS system. Uh, that's much more in line with what it's like in real life. We have to buy, uh, uh, we have to buy a. Uh, the actual receiver itself. One thing I don't like is that you can't really pull that header trailer with a combine, which is a bit of a drag. Cars. Anything else that's interesting? Miscellaneous. Don't think uh, trucks. Yeah, I don't have any gators in here. I know I have the Mahindra gator. I don't have a gator, the John Deere one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and use a white truck. Ooh. I was going to hit a um, trailer on the mod hub, but it's with that John Deere. Oh, does it? Sweet. You yeah, haven't really messed around too much with uh, header. Look at those fancy rims. Jeez. This is like a Honda Ridgeline a little bit, actually. I'm actually, I really dig it, the Honda Ridgelines, actually. They're pretty amazing trucks. Lots of storage space, which is nice. Watch the train come. We were lucky that time. That's the Elmer one? Oh, okay. I'll probably have it my single player. I just didn't add too many mods because I wanted to make sure that uh, things were working out. Morning. Evening to you guys. Evening. Go ahead and bring this over here. And let's go ahead and just purchase this parsec of land. There we go. Bring that over there. Let's grab our combine, wherever that got off to. Oh, 
really, I really gotta change that. It's a bit of a pain. Right, let's pick up the header up there. We don't have any. Oh, actually, not sure. We do have a combine in our shop right now. I don't know which one it is. I think it's a S95 something maybe. And the journey does have a trailer hitch at the back. On the back of that. Oh, I know it has a trailer hitch. I just found that every time I went to go use it, it was just too far. The hitch was too not far enough forward, I guess. Field works. Field 12. Starting location. Select position of the map, that's not so. Current vehicle position, automated. Turn to first point, sure. Headlands, no, that's fine. Multiple tools, no. Generator course. Mm, so far, so good. Save this course as oh that's different a little bit. Starting at first waypoint. That still works. I want it to drop straw like so. This is where it gets a little bit more useful. So like the actual like that actually by itself isn't so amazing, but once you start using it in conjunction with like picking up the uh, picking up the straw, that's helpful. There we go. Lower this cedar down. Now we've, now we've given a bit of a head start there. Okay, uh, then yeah, the trailer is the trailer that you won't have a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just the in-game one I'm using there. I just found that uh, the actual hitch on that combine was really far, far back. So, like, you actually hit the uh, combine with the trailer, the header. Which I didn't like. But so far, the new GPS system is pretty slick. What do you like, course, for mod that is out? Seems to be worked as well as the FS17. Yeah, for the time being. There's a few, of course, missing. Uh, Mission functions at the moment, but it's too big expected, really. But yeah, GPS is working fairly well, and it's working well with uh, horseplay, so it seems at least. I'm just playing single player without any mods. <laughs> right now, the only mods I do have are from the mod hub, so theoretically it should be fun. But who knows? And you could skip a lane too. Definitely possible. The air ride in these seats in these trucks are pretty it's pretty crazy. GPS, how much I've missed you. It's pretty good. I'll be honest, I haven't played much single player at all, so I haven't messed around with any of these mods. Very many uh, mods outside the normal ones, at least. That's okay. Enjoy myself in the server, so. Alright, that's that. So you could just hire a worker for that, too. You don't really need to use GPS for that. On the server, it's nice. For spraying, that's what I find it best with. So let's go ahead and grab a uh, another tractor here. Let's grab a 7R. Tires. Bye. Yes. Back. Let's grab a loading wagon. Let's try the chrome one. Horsepower E on this guy. Two hundred 
40. Let's go for the Michelin tires wheel setup. Cover. Sure. Why not? And let's buy another weight. Saving. Oh yeah, no problem at all. All right. Let's grab a hand. We'll get our silos, I guess. from the RT series. That's what we want right there. It'd be nice if you could turn the default to the, the lines run on every time. Maybe if I turn them off on that, it turns off on everything. I don't know. We've actually used this chrome inside before. It's pretty slick, actually. The cover's kind of neat. Style. Alright, so let's try this. Let's see how it works. I'm just gonna load it. Yeah, I guess that is a thing. Start recording this. See how this works out. I thought I'd recognize it as an unload point. It should. Let's just do that. Let's save that as unload. So we pick up this one and this one. Good work mode. First waypoint. Let's see if that actually works. You might have to put a waypoint there. Or a weight point, I should say. Let's see here. Turn on field activated. And it's picking up straw, that's a plus. Definitely a plus. Okay. Okay, it's good. I don't know why course play missed that a little bit there. I should have known to go all the way down, but I guess because it's the edge of the field right here, and that's why it stopped. It's strange because it's go, it went all the way up there and it's going to go back down here. Odd. Let's grab a trailer for this combine here. That's one I haven't tried yet. So many trucks here. I don't have quite enough money for that though. Nope. Grumpy. Justin. Agriliner. Yeah, I think the ones I haven't tried are the truck ones. Well, that's not true. Let's try the Anna Burger. Sure. Michelin tires. Cover. Yes. Oh, it has the same sort of cover as a. Uh, it actually shows the hydraulic lines too. That's pretty cool actually. Seventy-three ten slipping. Oh, it looks good. The turning circle. Hmm. No. That's weird. Why 
think we're trying to do that. Hmm. So good. Surprised it's all working together, actually. I thought it wasn't gonna work well together, but it seems to be fine. Online, see what's up. So far, so good though. GPS mods working fine. No crashes yet, which is also a plus. That's in like almost an hour, I guess, 40 minutes, I suppose. It's a bit high for my voice. Yeah, how's it now? <laughs> Should be alright now, I think. Alright. So, let's unload. That's the same kind of unloading mechanism as a crone has. Or a cover mechanism. There we go. Let's grab that combine over there. Go unload it. It's better. Yeah. It's a bit loud there for a second there. Hmm. Wonder why it's not to uh Much better. <laughs> Did I grab a trailer for silage? Is that what's going on here? I feel like I did there. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on here? Why isn't it unloading? That's probably why the computer was like, ah, oh, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Hmm. Much better. Should have said something before, Spot. I didn't even think about it. I always get carried away with music. Which is why I don't usually play it, because I end up just drowning myself out. Alright. Let's get a proper trailer, I guess, now. So that we just picked up the wrong one. Don't grab it. Uh, that's all we have in her. Let's go for the... No, we don't grab the shooting maker. The aggro line, there we go. Michelin's quiet tires, 61,000. How easy to spend money. Oh, there's a train. Didn't get hit by it this time, which is a plus. to that tractor or combine I should say. 
Hello, RC UK scale models. How are you doing today? Let's cut up to it now. There goes that sign. Is it waiting behind there? Goblet Troyer should load anything. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, they start automatically. Oh, 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 where's your collision detection? Come on now. Oh, no. I should be able to talk to that guy saying, hey. But you are no better. course here. Your cruise control on. So fourteen maybe. kilometers an hour roughly. There you go. Let me fix that one sec. It used to be like it would just spurt out. Now we kind of, maybe it's only the combine I'm using, but it's better now than it was before. But before it would just like spurt out. Hi hi boys and girls. What's up GT Farman? So we're almost full here. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna eat some chocolate covered coffee beans. Okay, this is good. Let's come back to the main area. I'll just want to drive on the oh, there it goes. Hmm. It's doing all right, I guess. Hmm. The real question is going to be whether it stops at that um, hail off or not. Good, it's picking up the course. This is good. It's a placeable hmm, tip trigger reach to recognize that it's trigger there. That's good to know. It's actually going to dump there. Yes, sweet. There you go. Totally works. That's pretty neat, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it's working. So now he's going to drive back, and go back to where he was before. Doesn't wreck the field though when he drives in, which is good to do. Good to see. 8370s, which just trick trick thing out in point. So that means this is fully fertilized now. Or fully uh fully done. I don't know. The AI is so dumb in this game. I hope the next big thing they work on is DLC. 
You never know. I don't. The, I haven't found the AI too too bad actually. <sighs> Just connect up there. That's a hard worker there now. Just gonna charge us for the use of the seeds, fertilizer, and whatnot. Maybe it's an AB line with a high worker. Hmm. Should be possible, I imagine. Okay. There we go. Ah, well, let me bring up the GPS menu with a high worker on. That's interesting. Select camera and dismiss worker. Change cruise control speed. Those are my options. So it looks like I can't. Uh... Oh, this doesn't have a Starfire receiver. I'm like, why can't I bring up the GPS mods? Because this one doesn't have it. Hmm. So far, it's working all right. It's for us getting collected as, as we speak. Now I am paying a worker to collect the straw. Okay, there it goes. It's because the other uh, trailer. Oh, it stops. Starts automatically. Now there is a mode. Let's go ahead and just. Waiting time, debug, pathfinding. Oh, stop here a little. There we go. Jeez. That would work. Was it from referring to traffic AI? Oh, the workers. Oh, yeah. That AI is pretty bad. So now, it'll just stop completely. Let's see what happens here. So that's that. That seems to be working all right. Um, let's try. Let's go ahead and just fast forward time here for a quick sec. So we're getting our 100 Gs. Should be fine though. We'll see. Then I cropped all ruined there. Is it all ruined, or does that just look that way? Looks like some of it is indeed withered. Hmm. Combine's pipe is in fruit. That's fine. Shadow request 
bastard. He's gonna come here. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, looks like it's looking all right. That guy right there is going to unload that straw. And most of this girl looks like it's dead now. Withered away. Should have turned withering off, but it's too late now. Oh, where is it here? That's the best way to approach this combine, really? Let's see what happens when I go outside over here. Pathfinding seems like it's a bit off. Anyways, have fun. I'm off to review things. Catch you later. Yeah, pathfinding is not the greatest right now, it seems like. You know, it's a work in progress. It's a beta, so it's not that surprising. Seems working all right. There's the attacker going back over to the where it left off right there. This is good. Let's send the driver home and see what happens here. Doesn't realize it has to go home yet. Hmm, that's curious. Maybe because I just, I'm just driving around myself. Wait, that might be the reason, actually. It's not going back and loading that. Stop doing loading. Activate. Hmm. That's strange. It should have gone and unloaded already. Oh, it's because the comments telling me it's done. Shouldn't be. Maybe because it wasn't fully unloaded yet. Hmm. Let's see what happens here when it turns around. Might be might be alright. And I can't bring up the uh, the lines show for GPS, but I can't turn them off while I have a, while I have this worker in like a course play mode apparently. Request of the driver. I've not pipes not over fruit anymore. What you gotta do? It's not a perfect system yet, apparently. It's a train. There it goes. Carman, what's up? Let's see if this gets unloaded. Just gonna wait here by the, the silo and just watch it. Seems to be alright so far. Like I said, I'm surprised I haven't any, had any crashes yet. And I don't have any extra additional mods. I just have uh, the mods I do have just from the mod hub. Oh, that's not true. I guess I have GPS and course play. And both of those are um, both of those are not from the mod hub. Hmm? Coming in hot though. Ooh, there it goes. Slowing down. Recognizes the trigger, obviously. Unloading right there. Perfect. Yeah, that's super cool. 
That seems working well. Don't know if you've been seen the Westby, Wisconsin rolling or Rolling Hills map. I haven't seen those ones yet, no. I'm just gonna wait there until the combine's full. And the combine is already full. Or full enough, I guess. Let's see what happens here. Because as soon as it, if it turns around, the crop's gonna be it's gonna be over the crop again. So. Hmm. Curious. Where's the other tractor here? Let's grab a plow. Do we have four hundred horsepower. This is the biggest one we can get in the Salford. So, how's course play? Course play is uh, functioning normally, which is kind of surprising, actually. Um, so far, I haven't had any problems yet, uh -oh, which I, like I said, is quite surprising uh, as of right now because I haven't really, uh, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't had any issues. I haven't, no, no game crashes yet. I was fully expecting a game crash at some point, but nothing yet. So far, so good. Which is kind of surprising. How'd you get Courseplay to work? I downloaded it from the developer, or well, from GitHub, and installed it. It's a beta version right now. I didn't do anything personally to the actual mod itself. It was done by the developers of the mod. And GPS? GPS, uh, I really like where they're going with it. I'm not gonna lie to you, Mike. They're really going in a really cool direction where you have to set up like an AB line, just like you have to do in real life before the GPS will start working. So they're going, they're heading in the right direction. Let's see how the plow works with course play. There we go. But so far, so good. Yeah, got that sign again, or another sign, I don't know which one that is. All right, let's go field 12. It seems to, uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't know if it's related or not, but the input of my steering wheel seems to kind of disappear there in the zone there. Yeah, I re it's really neat. 6.2 meters, I don't know. Put it into work mode here. So the Salford plow doesn't uh, doesn't uh, flip or anything. Uh, six point two meters, sure. Let's go for six meters. Bypass multiple tools. No, no, no. Generate a course. So far, so good. Plow past edge of the field, activated. Let's see how it works here. Let's see how the plowing aspect, course play, load course, sign, cleanup. <laughs> that would be pretty funny actually. I wonder why I missed that little area there. I don't think I would do a headland, do I? Oh, I do. Three headlands. Is it really gonna do three headlands? Yeah, that still missed a whole chunk right there. Hmm. Let's just stop this course here. We don't want them to be uh, headlands at all. And uh, base on field twelve. There we go. Nearest. Point. I had to sit. No, that's totally fine. I think that's, that's great. Um, oh, I didn't know that plow swung around like that. What's it doing there?
Oh, I guess it just kind of swings out eventually. That's bizarre. Now, it should plow past the edge of the field right here, too, because I have that uh, particular function turned on. Plow past the edge of the field activated, so it should go a little bit past it, theoretically, of course. Do you need quite a lot of space for that, though, with an implement like this? All right. That's not too bad. Making a turn. That's a gigantic turn. Holy cow. Look how far away he is from the... Uh, look how far away from yeah, how far away he is. That's just silly. Traffic's off. There we go. Look, look at this. That's like a country mile. Oh my goodness. Uh, turn on field. That's a turn on field? Oh my goodness. Wasn't expecting that. That plow is glitchy. Yeah, I can see that apparently. It seems to be alright when you put it into the... actually start plowing with it. But if you don't plow with it... What's the actual width of this thing? Yeah, it is 6.2 meters. Yeah, seems to be working with, uh, with that, too. It's a weird little connection point in the middle. First play gives 20 acres, and he'll turn that plow right around. Yeah, exactly. Country game and mile. Yeah. That is silly how big a turn that I had to make. I don't know. So far, so good, though. Haven't had any problems as of yet. actually goes and turns in there. It's kind of neat. Do a little ride along here. Well, that's too bad. Other vehicles are getting, getting stuck. That's okay. Well, that's interesting. He's taking all the weeds there. You guys can see that or not, because it's combining. All the weeds are disappearing. So you take a look over here. All the weeds are, weeds are gone. That's one way to do so a little bit of weeding on your fields, I guess. Where's that country mile again? Look at that thing. That is a weird plow. The way it's functioning. And the funny thing is that's a turn on field. Apparently. Yeah, it is kinda odd. But as soon as you lower it down, it straightens itself out, it looks like. Like the back end the tail end will kinda like whip around here. Come on. As soon as it gets lowered down, watch this. See? I'm not sure that's an intended design, but it does kind of make your plowing area a bit weird, as you can see back there. Hmm. Yeah. So you were saying really for may require a module attached to it. It does. It definitely does. It's not like a it might. It definitely does. So if I go to buy a tractor, it'll say GPS GPS. So I have to buy that in order to enable it on a tractor. So basically, so this tractor that I'm using right now doesn't have it enabled, so I can't actually use GPS. Whereas this guy right here, I have purchased the GPS for it. So I can bring up my guidance screen here. So this is all the settings right here. So we turn the guidance settings on or off, or I can have my AB line. So it's gonna be curious to see how it works out uh, with like curved lines and whatnot. I hope Farmer Spud does not mind wheel tracks in his crop. Yeah, exactly. So. Or you could course play in crop circles. You definitely could. Which version of course play is this? The developer version? It's version 0 0.00045, 6.01. 6.01.0045. 6 
Zero 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 four five developer version. We've traveled back in time to save an ancient species. So far, it misses a bit here and there. Yeah, of course, play always does. but does not miss too much behind. Like, not for me. Uh, let's turn our guidance show lines on. There we go. So this is what the guidance looks like now. So you have to set your AB line, basically. So here, so from here, basically, to the other side. And that tells us where, where we're going. And then uh, it aligns it up. So I already have the AB line set, so I'm just going to go ahead and enable it. Lower my cedar here. Turn it on is always helpful as well. And then, how about her? There we go. And that's what the GPS is like right there. Very si like the functionality is similar, but the implementation is different, which is what I like about this one. So, you actually have to, you know, show you know, show your lines. You can snap to the angles. You can increase the width, decrease the width right here. And you, they're going to add different strategies, I guess, at some point in the future. And the line method is A, B. So, so far in the readme, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. It is the course play. We have already in after, we have to use it already after. We are to use it already. Sure has evolved. Yeah, definitely. Course play's evolved. GPS is involved as well. Yeah, but so far it's working out well. Which I'm delightfully surprised by. Because, I mean... Right now, I'm just, uh, I don't have any other mods set up, but the fact that it's running this smoothly. Like, I don't have, like, three course play drivers on right now. Which is pretty good. Adds dynamic to GPS mod. Yeah, exactly. So you have to buy the module, which is neat now. To buy the module, you have to uh, make sure your tractor has it, of course. But the AB line, so that's exactly the way it is like in real life. I'm setting up an AB line on that jazz. So by the time I'm done here, I'll be able to do it in real life. I don't know. My brother-in-law's got um, GPS on his tractor, so. I don't know, I downloaded this version up the other day, so. What was it say? Yes, yesterday, the other day. Otherwise, it's a developer version, so they're constantly updating. Working out for MP is a bonus. Yeah, so the GPS was working, apparently, it's already working for multiplayer, from what I can tell. From what he says, at least. So with GPS, with cruise control set up, it just stops at the edge of the field, so you can do your headlines after the fact, which is pretty neat. I'm reluctant to put the GPS on the server to give it a go. Would mean you know potentially ruining everything that's on the server right now. I have GPS up to the coffee machine and cookies. Yeah, exactly. I've already had two coffees and an espresso today. But yeah, GPS seems to be functioning well so far. I mean, it's kind of limited at the moment, but it seems like it's uh, uh, the path is there to expand it, which is kind of cool. So. I'm jazzed about. So far, so good. And the funny thing is, if I get out of the tractor and then get back in, the guidance is still activated, as you can see there at the screen. Oh, I thought you were on the MP server. Apologies. Not at the moment. But it, um, oh, it's the same map, just not an MP. Um, but uh, GPS is capable of going on the server, according to what the readme says, at least. Target heart rate achieved. Yeah, exactly. There we go. This is a kind of cool looking cedar, I have to admit. I don't think I ever really... Stara, sorry. Stara. Stara. I don't think I ever used it really in uh, uh, 17 at all. 
he was part of the uh, cult. Well, I guess that man has reached his end point. Well, it's the end point, so it came back, went all the way back to the start. That's pretty good. Yeah, did the whole course. No problems, that's pretty good. And this is what the plow is doing right now. Missed that little bit right there, but so far it's not missing a whole lot. For a plow, which is the most, well, for me, I don't, I really don't enjoy plowing very much. Not with a plow like this, at least. It's not doing too badly. happening right now. Isn't that crazy? AI left. Projected vehicle position. So it's detecting where... Oh, I can't uh, do it all at once. Let's see if I can kind of do it from above here. There we go. So that's like the left of the, left of the, ve left of the vehicle and furthest right of the vehicle, or left of the vehicle and furthest left of the vehicle, and that's the center, I guess they're considering and then you can have the relevant node so that's the one they just hit and if we circle around here you'll see that the current waypoint is picking up right there it's pretty pretty crazy stuff there's a whole other set of debug channels i didn't even know about <laughs> oh my goodness yeah that's pretty good actually So far, so good. And this guy is, what is he doing here? I guess he's finished, he's going back to the start. So yeah, he was able to unload into that uh, placed hayloft there, which is kind of cool. I like these covers, these covers are kind of neat. That's very cool though. So I didn't have to do any of that, which I I don't mind doing it. Lots of things you could kind of mess around with. How much did we actually get from here anyways? Let's open that up. 100,000 liters of straw. So you saw that the only one I actually unloaded was the last one there. Everything else was just just from the actual worker itself. That's not too bad at all. Pretty good. Yeah, that's missing those little tiny bits at the end there. Just because of the way it kind of swings around. So you can create a point to finish. Go to and always goes back to the start. Well, it depends how you set up your course, but yeah, if I, um, if I generate a course on here, Field work mode, field 13, starting location's current point, and you can have it so it uh, returns to the first point so that you create. So in this case, if I create that first point back in the corner down here, it would return to that point down there. But you, you can turn it on or off if you want that. So you can have it so it goes to the end of the field where it goes, well, that's the last point, or it goes to the start, depending on how, it has, depending on how you have it set up, basically. So it looks like headlands are still an option, too. So headlands, let's say we want to do two headlands. We're going to do them after the fact. Generate the course. We're a bit off here, apparently. And let's go for nearest waypoint. It oh, it's continuing on this path. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I 
guess it was on this line down here. Hmm. Find that next position's a little rough, isn't it? Always has been on some weird fields like that. Just gonna go around in circles and try to find that next spot there. Yeah, that's trying to reach your waypoint right here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this up right here. That's where it should be going right there. Hmm. I don't know if they were conflicting there. Well, they may have been. <laughs> no waypoint node index? Yeah. Conflicting a little bit there. Well, that's that's pretty uh, pretty mild in comparison to what could be happening. To be completely honest, like that's not too bad at all. Doing a couple of headlands there, which is good. He's still doing his thing. No, yeah, that's actually not too bad at all. A lot better for a beta than it could be. That's for sure. Absolutely. So minor glitch, but all nothing cannot, uh, nothing can work. Yeah, exactly. So it seems to be working fairly well, which is good to see. So the GPS mod is the one that's it's available on servers. Uh, you could put it on a server, but it is beta, so possible it, that it will mess things up. But you know, it works. So. Anyways, folks, I think I ended there for the time being. Kind of explored those two, uh, those two mods a fair bit today, and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go make some liver and onions. I'll catch you all later. Hope you enjoyed that little look at course play beta and GPS beta. My name is Ian Robson. If you like go ahead and hit that, <laughs> hit that subscribe button for some more tutorial action and uh, some more live streams. All right, catch you guys later.